Up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Colby Chaos Covington and George Rush St. Pierre. So here's the legend, George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion in DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak of. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck and took Josh Koscheck NCAA champion down whenever he needed to, right? But it was also the strike that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab, and the leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than you. He does. He's wow. a man. <laughs> All right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Anjos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. P. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Colby Chaos coming time. OK, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by St. Pierre. 
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for Colby Covington. And they separate. Good stick. Double leg. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by St. Pierre. Looking for a guillotine. Watch guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Pru has got to like that transition there. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield, try to push your opponent off, and try to get back to your feet. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with round two. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Able to land with the left hand there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battling for hooks. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by GSP. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. St. Pierre's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Close guard now. Covington going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice hammer fist. St. Pierre gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hand. Big double leg. Oh, and he finally hand. gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Trying to recover full guard there. And he landed the right hand there. 
Covington going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Oh, that's a good right hand. St. Pierre gets back up again. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by GSP. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, what a punch. Lands to the body. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Final seconds here of round two. Left hand punch with the clinch. Round three next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on the point. He is a master in transition. And they separate. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by... Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Flush right hand is true. We march on three minutes to go. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. St. Pierre's has got full mount now. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. I need you to scramble, scramble. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's got his back now. St. Pierre gets back up, no surprise there. Beautiful hook. A little single collar tie there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Muay Thai plump. Beautiful punch. Covington's got his back. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. There. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, nice. There's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to the corner saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Final seconds of round three. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep.
bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. That was lightning fast, that right here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He engages in a single collar tie here. Left hand punch with the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the control in the posture. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Oh, nice right hand. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? He gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, George Rush St. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.